So I'm here to talk to you about the Big Bang Theory, and thankfully not the TV show, though if you've even seen five seconds of that show, you already have a gist of what the theory is. A long, was it 14 million years ago, uh, oh man, I've already messed this up. So, um, the whole universe is in a hot, dense state, nearly 14 million years ago, expansion started. So, you know the idea, but you probably don't know who's responsible for the theory. And I'd argue that most of the credit would have to go to a Belgian priest, of all people, uh, by the name of Father Georges Lemaitre. And between giving sermons and saying rosaries, Lemaitre managed to take Einstein's field equations and apply them to the entire universe. And his solution was a universe that could expand. Now, no one really paid much attention to this at the time, but two years later, when an American astronomer, Edwin Hubble, was studying distant galaxies, what he noticed was that most of the galaxies seemed to be moving away from the Milky Way. And what's more, the further away the galaxy was, the faster it was moving. Now, well, no one could really explain why this was. But Lemet, on the other hand, was feeling very smug because it's exactly what his model predicted. I'm gonna show you on my little model universe here. So, if we can imagine that our universe is the surface of this balloon, and say that we in, our, in the Milky Way galaxy are at this star here. When we look out of the night sky, what we see is all the other galaxies moving away. But say if I was in, say, this galaxy instead, looking from here, well now it also looks like all the galaxies are moving away from me. And I can do that for any point on the surface of this sphere. And you'll always look like you're at the center of universal expansion. So if anyone tells you you don't matter, don't worry, you really are the center of the universe. So, Lemet took this idea and he made a very bold prediction in that if the universe is getting bigger, well, that means before it must have been smaller. Okay, I'm with him so far. So what happens if we wind the clock all the way back? We let all the air out of the balloon and what happens is all the matter and energy that is in the universe is being compressed into a smaller and smaller region of space and time, meaning so everything is getting hotter and it's getting a lot denser till eventually all of the matter in the universe is compressed to a single point. Our concepts of space and time have completely broken down and to ask what comes before this no longer makes sense as time is no longer defined. So all we can do is run the clock forward again and what you find is a rapid expansion of space and time. Lemaitre called this a fireworks beginning. And over the next 30 years, more and more um, scientific evidence would come out in favor of this theory. To the point, this would all cumulate, uh, this would all cumulate in the discovery of the cosmic microwave background radiation, which is the leftover light from the Big Bang, the smoking gun that proved the hypothesis once and for all. And with that, Lemaitre's fireworks hypothesis became the Big Bang theory. Thank you.